Hey, this is Cam with the West Central Montana Avalanche Center. We are down in the Southern Bitterroot on a Northeast aspect at 7,800 feet. So we came out today primarily to look at the wind loading distribution and where the slab was forming from the strong winds over the weekend. And what we found was there isn't really a single aspect that's got a big connected slab on it. The reason for that, that is those winds were shifting directions a lot and they were real strong. And so it came through saddles, came around corners, really just lots of different directions of wind transport. And so instead of a large connected slab, we see more smaller slabs, um, but on all aspects along ridge lines. So definitely something to keep an eye on as you're traveling around. What we did find today that was a bit surprising on north and south aspects up here at upper elevation is when that storm came in late last week, it actually came in a little bit warm at the start. And so right in here, we've got a pretty good crust under the 30 centimeters foot of new snow that fell on Friday, Saturday. We're seeing a little bit of faceting right above that crust. Uh, this snow above it, it's not slabby enough quite yet where you'll get an avalanche on it. But you can see we've got a weak layer and we've got a bed surface. So when this becomes a little more slabby, we'll probably expect to see some avalanching on this layer. Skiing ride safe?